Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Hey, you two could have told me that guy got another ride. What? Bowlinger. Jimmy? I was looking for him earlier. The guy got another ride, that's all. You could have fucking told me. Huh? The guy got another ride? Are you like his his friend? I'm just fucking with you. Sorry, you're confused. Uh it's I'm I'm being mean. Okay. I'm a psychopop. Friend of Urshanabi, Tooth of Fligius, Charon's lost dog. Uh-huh. I'm a I'm a cab driver. A ferryman to be a specific. Oh, a psychopomp. Uh, I'm sure the answer to this is no, but can you, like, ferry us out of here? That depends. Where do you want to go? Um, honestly, just, like, just anywhere but here, for starters. I like the low expectations. Look, I just clocked in, but I need a fare. You guys look clean enough. You want to roll with me on a chore I got to do? It's at first and Izzard. I got to see about a friend, but I'll introduce you to some people. Huh? I'm Sam, by the way. Sam Hill. Short for Samantha. Short for Silithial Machidial. Milo. Lola. Mr. Milo? Miss Lola? I'm nicer than I look. What do you say? I promise I won't bite. Again, the same feeling I did when that guy in the van tried to sell me a raccoon. I'm choosing to trust this. What the fuck else are you gonna do with your night, right? Come on, my ride's this way. Won't be a long trip. Uh, so, uh... Hell, huh? Yeah, the days have worn away, haven't they? I can tell you cats were new. Dead-eyed and... pig-tailed. So I guess I'll hit the questions everyone has. First of all, whatever church you went to, whatever faith, they were a little right and a lot wrong. And if you didn't go to church, you were kind of right too. It's not like God takes attendance. Uh, reincarnation's a thing, but it's kind of like having triplets. It's pretty rare. Usually means there are a lot of hormone supplements involved. And if you don't know why you're here... Yes? I can't tell you. Because you don't know, or...? Because I don't know. Only your assigned processor demon and Lucifer himself would be privy to your permanent record. Which is a good thing, trust me. You don't want the shit heels down here having any more ammunition for nicknames. So, what exactly gets you thrown down here? Or, um, generally speaking, I, I guess. Uh, being a giant dickhead? Letting dickheadishness prevail over lawful headishness? I don't think it makes you unique. This ain't the DMV, and you didn't lose your tax. That double helix you call your DNA is a merry-go-round God set in motion at the Cape of Good Hope. But it drives you jack and apes to kill and eat and fuck each other over and over and... It's a wonder any of you made it to Elysium. It's not your fault, of course. Come on, Sam. Humans aren't that bad. We do. We have our bright spots, our good moments. Some people don't even lock their Wi-Fi. You know, it's a long night. Maybe you'll have me convinced by the end of it. Fair warning, I'm a lot older than you, and I'm pretty stuck in my ways. Cab's just over here.
Ah, here's my little bundle of joy. I should give her a name. Never really had the time, though. Or the desire. Hop on in, but mind the leather. Oh, okay. It's, uh, the, the seat's wet. Oh, yeah, that's probably your... Okay, everybody in? Great. So, you're dead. You're in hell. It's bewildering, I know. But like moving to a new place or cutting up a body, it's best to just focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, what the fuck are we driving on right now? This is the River Styx. It's an immaterial, trans-dimensional spirit course that connects all the little islands of hell and provides fairy women like me a job. It used to cost money, but then someone upstairs finally realized we don't really have an economy down here. Um, islands of hell? Hell isn't just like one big land mass. What you think of hell is what's called the Nine Circles, the uh, conurbation, where everyone gets tortured during punching. But outside the Nine Circles is an infinite chain of islands we call nowhere. And it's what you're in now. God's coloring book, I guess you could say. Everything comes from the abstract, the abyss, the outer realm where he set his dark materials. It's a long story, longer than we have time for. Right now, at least. But hang tight, we're almost there. Okay, here we are. Watch your step getting off. I know sometimes you kids like to play at the shore, but you fuckers sink fast, so. And I ran out of the house without my flippers today, so just keep your eyes on each other's toes. Play at the shore? How young do you think we are? Look, until you turn 200, you should require a car seat. Your brain's basically a litter box a cat died in. So, not that either of you asked, but this is first a izzard. I think the tourism board calls it the bludgeoning capital of nowhere. So, uh, use that information as you will. Just don't shake everybody's hand, is what I'm saying. And look at people's shoes when you talk to them. So, like, people live here? Uh, well, nobody really lives in hell. We're all just kind of a part of it. It's like North Dakota, or those secret Chinese time travelers stuck in old Chicago. Wait, why'd we come here? If it's so dangerous, I mean, these are the types of people you think we should know? They're the only type you can know. If you wanted a different crowd, you probably shouldn't have drowned all those kittens. We didn't drown any kittens, okay? I would never do that. Yeah, you're pretty allergic. Hey! Hey! Sam! Sam! What? Did you did you hear the one about the blind guy who walked into a bar? He walked into the table and chairs next. <laughs> Get some better material. How? Tastes like a prick. Hey, excuse me. We're trying not to get dumbass all over our pants here. I warned you like 18 goddamn times. You'll get your stomach back when you learn to behave. Sam, hey, how's it going? Eh, pretty good, pretty good. Is, uh, Forney in there? Fornius, yeah. He's fiddling with his dick somewhere. All the kids with you? Yeah, they're cute, right? I'm playing tour guide on my coffee break. All right, well, anything happens, I get their hair. Okey smokey, who's drinking? Cause I'm buying. So we're gonna be all right in there, right? Sure. Just, uh, tuck your arms into your shirt sleeves. You, um... Okay? Yeah, I think he's taking a time out. Here goes nothing. A 
bottle for everyone. Is that crazy? It's fun, right? My balls hadn't dropped yet. How would I think that was funny? Boom. Just drink it. Don't even well, look at me. Well, if it isn't the smelliest pile of puke in all of nowhere, Samantha Hill. How the heck fire are ya? Hey, Forney. Perfect timing. Guys, this is Forneus. Forneus, this is Milo and Lola. So you adopted two human children, and those are the names you gave them? I didn't pick their names. But you did adopt them. They're not mine. I'm just showing them around. We're not kids, all right? I got a savings account and everything. Tommy's having his party upstairs. Want a drink? You read my mind. Wait, Sam. What, uh, what's the problem? Look, we, we didn't want to get into it earlier, but we, we actually want to try and get home if, uh, if that's. Okay, yeah, all right, that's, uh, that's cool. Uh, yeah, we, we can get into it in a bit. Just, uh, just follow me, okay? Uh, uh, all right. Fornius, with one F, and we're just going upstairs to a uh, Tommy's death day party. See you up there, kids. Um, excuse me. Private party. But our friend just went up. Sam, she's on the list. You ain't. You don't even know our names. How do you know we're not on the list? I'm looking at you. That's more than enough information. Tommy boy, the man of the hour. <laughs> hey, Father Van Dyke. Get over here. I got a new cocktail I need reviewed. Well, I'll happily be your willing test pilot. I think that's the guy having the party upstairs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, get him to invite us up. Get him to invite us up, yes. Let's get a drink. All right, Tommy. Sorry for the wait. What can I get you? Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. What's, uh, what do you recommend? Top shelf. A case of lung batter just came in. Hey, uh, Tommy. Or, uh, Thomas. I, I should probably... Hey, can't you stupid pieces of shit see there's a conversation happening here? <laughs> Van Dyke, it's okay. They're new. You're new, right? How you liking hell so far? Was the suicide pact worth it? Or uh, eating 50 raw eggs? I don't know what young people are into nowadays. It's not the the worst place I've been to. That gas station off of Fremont, I'll still, you know. I mean, I don't know about you, Milo, but I've seen scarier versions of hell and tales from the crypt. <laughs> Let's be fair. It's scary. I'm scared. I don't... Nobody take it as a challenge. She's Lola. I'm Milo. We're actually just trying to... Wait, 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 wait. You're new. We gotta have a toast. Do a shot with me. Come on. Van Dyke, three brass bulls, if you please. Sure thing. If you ate before you got here, you might want to pre-throw up. We only have tonight to get out, Milo, before we're chewed up by serpents with baby heads or whatever, so maybe we should keep our heads on straight. Get out. You see any escalators around here? Come on, one shot, really. Okay, cats and jammer kids, listen up. Above ground booze is watered down milk, but here, this shit ain't 2%. Father Van Dyke's been serving alcohol since Jesus was still overcharging for kitchen cabinets. Around the bend. Let's go. Cheers. Ah, <laughs> uh, goes down smooth. Now, you should notice you feel a little empowered, right? Maybe a little freer? Or if you have eyeballs, you'll notice you have an extra choice floating around in your brain. Sounds just like college. But be careful what you order. Different drinks affect people different ways. Like, you know, for instance... Hey, Jim Jum! What the fu- What the shit is that you got on your head? <laughs> uh, sir, I'm not, uh, Jim Jum. Ah, sure you are! Jim Jum! <laughs> Why, I even called you, you last, uh, yesterday morning? Hey, dickhead! Get the hell out of my friend's face before you start pissing me off! Jesus, you you don't have to raise your voice at me. I know when I'm not wanted, I can I can read body languages. Where's the latrine anyway? See you later. See? Having an extra little bit of confidence can really help keep the sailing smooth down here. Or, you know, it can get the shit kicked out of you. Whichever side the coin lands on. But like I was saying, brass bulls tend to make people a little ornery. But try different drinks for different results. Christ, they sound like a fucking car commercial. Tommy, are we having a rematch or have your balls not grown back yet? 
<laughs> hey, I'm coming over there, all right? Nice meeting you kids. Crap, we should. We're missing our chance. We should go ask him, right? I mean, he's our ticket upstairs to Sam and uh, her info. Okay, let's get him. I thought we were friends. How could you not tell me? Why would I need to tell you dolls can't really talk? Can it, you two? I warned you once already. One more outburst, you and everyone near you are getting their feet nailed to the top of Mount Vasectomy. Oh, wait. Maybe we should just egg those two idiots on. The bouncer will have to deal with it, and then we can go upstairs. The bouncer will have to... How do you even know that'll happen? Doesn't that seem, like, advanced? Hey, whatever you want to do. I'm just a squirrel trying to... Trying to... Oh, never mind. I'll follow your lead. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay. Uh, barkeep? What's, uh, on the menu this morrow's eve? A fine selection, let me tell you. Uh, just give me a famous last word. Okay, famous last words. Girly, what's your poison? Uh, just same as him, I guess. Uh, I thought, don't the demons torture the humans? How come everyone's just hanging out like it's happy hour at Chili's? Look, nobody here wants to be doing what they're doing. It's a job, and people understand that. Most people. And when your shift's over, you drink with whatever dangling eyeballs in front of you. The nicer ones, anyway. It's a job? Then who's the boss? I'll give you a hint. He co-wrote the Bible with Santa Claus. It's the big I am. The million dollar man. God. Hey, uh, guys, have, having a problem over here? Because maybe we can exacerbate the issue into a real disturbance. No, I mean, uh, help with whatever your thing is. Look, if you work here or something, relax. I'm not going to get into a fist fight with this asshole. I've been kicked out of enough bars in hell to know the punishment's almost never worth it. I didn't think you'd take it so seriously. How could I not take it seriously? I was six. All right, never mind. Enjoy your uh, evening. I don't know why I said that part. I don't work here. Yeah, uh, we didn't exactly get them to cause a scene, did we? But if you want to keep poking the beehive... Uh, no, maybe we should try your thing. Talking to Tommy, just getting on the list. Whatever you want to do. a little tired. Maybe you want to take a break? I might need to break something, yes. I, I think uh, the, the devil wants to talk to you about uh, where you get uh, your uh, cologne. Remind him that you got it for my birthday. Again. Yeah, hi. Danny, what do you want me to say, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry for making everyone think you wrote those messages in blood on your mom's bathroom mirror, all right? Don't laugh. This shit isn't funny. <laughs> okay, okay, that's... I'm sorry, but it's funny. Danny, come on, you have, to, you have to have a sense of humor about these things. What things? It was a possessed toy destroying my life! <laughs> you should have seen what I wrote. That's it, you giant sack of shit! You're gonna regret making me love you! I mean, the drowning that farmer's kid! You'll never make me regret that! Hey, guess what, guys? You won. Wanna know what you win? No. Ten years in the throat cutter, and it hasn't been washed in centuries. But it'll be <laughs> dirty! Hey, Van Dyke. Where's, uh, the nearest singles bar? Hey, my plan worked. The bouncer left. Let's head upstairs, talk to Sam before he comes back.
this, uh, wait, is this even the same bar? Welcome, welcome to Tommy Tulaney's Death Day Celebration. I saw you two talking to Tommy downstairs. Are you a victim or a fan? Wait, the, the guy we were, that's Thomas Tulaney, the serial killer? Kidnapped, tortured, and killed 13 young men over a period of six years. Yes, sir, Bob. Never caught, though. Just out of a, a morbid curiosity, what's the punishment for something like that? Centaurs stomp his intestines out every hour and 20 minutes. What happens during the rest of his day? While his innards grow back, they regale him with boring stories about their friends' dating. The stomping part's really the break from that, to be honest. Have you seen Sam? Yeah, she's over on the balcony talking with Fornius. Hey, thanks for, for coming out. Really, I appreciate it. I can't believe it's just been a year. Feels a lot shorter and longer, you know? Oh, definitely. Was uh, Companius not able to make it? I thought I saw him check yes on the Evite. He wanted to, he really did, buddy. <laughs> it's stupid, but he's gained so much weight recently. You're kidding me, that's not- No, that's not the reason. He, uh, he actually joined a gym, if you can believe it. And he did want to lose on the free days they give you for signing up. I guess they expire in like a week. So he had an extra week? Or less than a week, I don't know. You'll have to talk to him. Well, I'm just disappointed, that's all. It won't take long. How do you know it won't take long? Something like this could take all fucking week. <clears throat> Lady, gentlemen. Farney. Gah, that guy. You give him an inch, he takes a really long conversation. Sorry that took a while. How'd you even get up here? Milo here almost started a bar fight, and the bouncer left his post. Is there anything but wrong lessons to take from that? Wow, I'm impressed. Phil got involved and you still have your feet? Someone up there doesn't mind you. Hey, we're, we're cool, okay? I, I, uh, I... Yeah, you obviously died jet skiing with, with supermodels. I, we can see that now. Listen, Sam, it's been a fun uh, hour or however long we've been here, but we really, we really want to get out, if possible. We just, we want to go home. See that big mansion down the way? The one having the party? That's Satan's house. He throws a rager every night, invites the fucking universe, tries to keep everybody's spirits up. You see, Hell's been in a bit of a low period recently. And by recently, I mean like the last thousand years. Nowhere in the Nine Circles, they used to be a place of, you know, creativity. Of uncompromised refusal to go to bed when you're told. We were the scribbled in margins in God's field guide, you know? And now, well, now people just like to get shit-faced. And I don't really know who we are anymore. Just tell us how to bust out of this joint, okay? I don't need the history lesson. I'm telling you this because it deserves context. What deserves context? You see, chums, there's one old practice that him, you earn his respect, he opens the door, and lets you go back home. Back to Earth. Alive. To do whatever you want to do until you die of something else. Wait, 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 he... He opens the door? What does that mean? He can let us go? Any of us? At any time? But he just chooses not to? Look, I know you're like 22, so you think you're Einstein's smarter cousin, but... It's naughtier than that. How much naughtier? Christmas lights and a storage bin naughty. Okay, so, yeah, okay, um, but you're saying the only way out of hell is out drink the Prince of Lies? We call him the Prince of Partying down here, but yes, you have to out party the Prince of Partying. Okay. Lola, Milo, welcome to the show. Now, if you don't mind, I got other fares to pick up, so if you want to head to Lucifer's, now's the time. Well, there's nothing else to do, so yeah, let's go.
long have you been a cab driver or a, a psycho psychopomp? Oh, a uh, good long while. Since I've been here, really. You know, it's hard to complain. I get to meet interesting clans, such as yourselves. Drift in and out of people's peccadillos. I think my life would make a good CBS sitcom, you know? I don't go on many adventures, but 